Oh guys, look at this. It's a beautiful homemade beef jerky. Nothing like beef jerky, especially when it's homemade. Well howdy folks, I'm Stuart Trotter and this is Texas Cooking Today. Hey, what you're going to be making today is going to be some delicious food. And this is one of my recipe videos. Now if you get to the end of this and you're wondering how to pull off this, that or the other, I'll tell you what. There's another show on this very same recipe. It's one of my tutorials. So I'll tell you what, it'll be the next episode after this one. Take a look at that. Those are really full of information. Now guys, thank you for watching. Let's get right into making this. Guys, as you've seen right there, that beef jerky is good looking, isn't it? And it's really not that hard to make. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my recipe for a good basic beef jerky. I think the real trick here is just don't overcomplicate it. So let's get in the kitchen and I'll show you my wonderful recipe for this delicious tasting beef jerky. Come on. <laughs> oh, guys, look at this. Beef, soy sauce, I got some vinegar here, liquid smoke, black pepper, salt, lemon, and garlic. And we're going to combine those to make one of the most fantastic tasting beef jerkies that you'll ever have. So guys, come over. Let's get busy making this. It's not that tough. We just got to get it mixed up and the meat sliced and it's ready to go. Okay guys, go ahead and get your meat sliced. Slice it thin, about a quarter of an inch thick. and. If you're going to use a cut like this, I re make, recommend separating those muscles, cutting across the grain on that, because you're going to get a more tender bite when you do it that way. Now guys, after you get your meat cut up, the fat removed, get it in a bowl. Now we have it ready for marinating. All right, check that out. Isn't that beautiful? Guys, combine all of your liquids for your marinade in one cup, and then we'll squeeze the lemon over the top, once we get it on the meat, we'll put our salt and our garlic in there at that time also. Now that black pepper, we're going to be using it later in the process, okay? So just wait till later on that. All right, guys. Now, when you get all of your ingredients in there, you know, squeeze those lemons in there, get all of the ingredients mixed together in one bowl and add just a little bit of water to bring it up over the top of the meat. At that point, we're going to go ahead and throw it right into the refrigerator give it a few hours to marinate, and then we're going to get it dehydrated, okay? That's it. So, next thing I need to do is just get this covered. All right, guys, get that lid up on there. Come on, there we go. Get this down in my refrigerator. I wanna give it about two to three hours, like I said. It doesn't take long when it's real thin cut like that. <clears throat> okay, guys. My meat is marinated and I'm getting ready to dehydrate. Now you can use a pan like this with some simple, oops, sorry about that, with some simple racks like this. Simple pan racks on top of a pan. Now the pan's just to catch drips. You can just use the rack in your oven all by itself. Put foil on the lower rack and put your beef jerky out on the upper rack and let it dry in your oven at 165 to 175 degrees. Um, some ovens are, their lowest temperature they show is 200, but often they will go below that, okay? So set your oven to a real low temperature and that will work. Now today, I'm not gonna worry with it. I have a food dehydrator. I'm gonna use my food dehydrator and we're gonna be doing this at 165 degrees. Now just get your beef jerky on the trays and get it cooking. Now guys, once you get your meat laid out on your trays, at that point, that's when you want to pepper it. And I like going with a real coarse pepper, so I'm going to set my grinder for that. And I like to be liberal with my pepper. You do yours how you would like. But I think this makes for a really good tasting beef jerky. Well guys, we have that dehydrator up and running. There it is. The meat is going to do its thing, and pretty soon we're going to have a wonderful batch of beef jerky. Just let it go. There you go, guys. A little bit of marinating, slicing, and throw it into the dehydrator, and it is drying as we speak. It wasn't that tough, was it? The hardest part at this point 
is just waiting because it takes hours. The fastest I have ever seen beef jerky cook, and it was pretty thinly sliced, uh, I think that was about four and a half or five hours. And the longest I've ever seen it take was upwards of about 18 to 19 hours. So it depends on the cut, how thick you cut it, uh, uh, how thick it was cut, and other variables too. You know, there's going to be things like, oh, barometric pressure. Believe it or not, that affects this. Uh, there's going to be altitude. Uh, also, humidity. All of these things make a big difference in how long it takes. So there's no way I can say it's going to take X number of hours. It's just a matter of patience and you checking it. Oh, about every hour or so after five hours. So give that a try. Right now, I'm just going to kick back and wait. Okay, guys, the ingredients for this recipe. The amounts that you're going to need are going to be two to three pounds of your beef. All right, and you want that thin sliced. I recommend about a quarter of an inch. Half a cup of soy sauce, quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar, quarter of a cup of liquid smoke. I like to use the mesquite flavored. If you prefer hickory, you do that. Black pepper to taste. I like mine heavy and I like the pieces large, so coarse ground. One teaspoon of salt, one large or two small lemons, and three to four cloves of your garlic. And that's all there is to making a wonderful marinade that's going to, well, surprise you in how good it really is. <laughs> it's tasty. Mm. I've been enjoying this beef jerky. Guys, so you'll know, I've had a few pieces. We've ended up with a decent batch, okay? Nice little batch of beef jerky there. Excellent, excellent jerky. Guys, the way I cut it, I sliced it in such a way that it's not gonna be hard for me to bite through or to, I don't have to gnaw on it. Excellent beef jerky, has the right amount of fat, was just slightly oily when I pulled it out of the dryer. That's just perfect. Mm. Perfect. Now the thing of it is, I'm getting these great flavors. Got the pepper, got the soy, strong smokiness to it. Love that. This is perfect for a good jerky. Thing of it is, you get too many different flavors in there, too many spices, too many flavors all at once. Your jerky isn't as good. Keep your flavors simple and you'll have the best jerky in the world. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode and for giving this wonderful jerky a try. You're gonna enjoy it when you try it. It's a good recipe. If you would, do me a favor, please subscribe. Put some comments down there. Ask some questions, or if you'd like, have a request. I'll do my best to fulfill as many requests as I can. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Please share my videos, click the like button, and if you would, please just have a good day. I'm gonna have some more jerky. <laughs> mm. Good stuff. Well guys, once again, thank you very much for watching this show, for watching Texas Cooking Today. If you would, please go to my channel, check things out there. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I've got stuff coming out every single Thursday. So watch closely. There's some really good stuff coming your way. And thank you again for watching Texas Cooking Today.